Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will know how to generate equivalent fractions using models. But first, let's have a review. Let's name the following fractions. Three fourths. Four ninths. Four tenths. One half. Five tenths. Four eighths. Now, let's generate equivalent fractions. But what are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions are fractions that may have different numerators and denominators, but represent the same value or proportion of a whole. To determine if two fractions are equivalent, you can either cross multiply and compare. Using models like circles, rectangles, or number lines can also visually demonstrate their equality. Let us know if 5 tenths and 2 fourths are equivalent fractions using models. Though they have different denominators, but as you can see, the parts of each fraction being shaded are the same. That means 5 tenths and 2 fourths are equivalent fractions. Generating equivalent fractions using models involves visually demonstrating how fractions with different numerators and denominators can represent the same value. These are the examples of models that we can use on how to generate equivalent fractions using rectangular models. Let's see if 1 half and 2 fourths are equivalent fractions. Let's follow these steps. Draw a rectangle and divide it into two equal parts. Shade one part to show one half. Next to it, draw another rectangle of the same size and divide it into four equal parts. Shade two parts to show two fourths. The shaded portion should be visually the same, illustrating equivalence. The shaded parts of one of one half and two fourths are the same. That means they are equivalent fractions. Another one, two sixths and three ninths. Draw a rectangle and divide it into six equal parts. Shade two parts to show two sixths. Next to it, draw another rectangle of the same size and divide it into nine equal parts. Shade three parts to show three ninths. The shaded portions should be visually the same, illustrating equivalence. As you can see, the shaded parts are the same. That means 2 6 and 3 9 are equivalent fractions. Another one, 3 fifths and 6 tenths. Draw a rectangle and divide it into 5 equal parts. Shade 3 part to show 3 fifths. Next to it, Draw another rectangle of the same size and divide into 10 equal parts. Shade 6 parts to show 6 tenths. The shaded portion should be visually the same, illustrating equivalence. As you can see, both parts have the same size. That means 3 fifths and 6 tenths are equivalent fractions. Let's try! Using rectangular models, generate the following equivalent fractions. Thank you. 
This is how you generate equivalent fractions using rectangular models. This is two fifths and four tenths. Now, let's generate equivalent fractions using circular models. Two six and three ninths. Draw a circle and divide it into six equal parts. Shade two parts to show two sixths. Draw another circle of the same size and divide it into nine equal parts. Shade three parts to show three ninths. Observe that the shaded regions are identical. Showing equivalence. Another one. 3 fourths and 6 eighths. Draw a circle and divide it into 4 equal parts. Shade 3 parts to show 3 fourths. Draw another circle of the same size and divide it into 8 equal parts. Shade 6 parts to show 6 eighths. Observe that the shaded parts or regions are identical. Showing equivalence. Another one. 3 ninths and 2 six. Draw a circle and divide into 9 equal parts. Shade 3 parts to show 3 ninths. Draw another circle of the same size and divide into 6 equal parts. Shade 6 parts to show 2 six. Observe that the shaded regions are identical, showing equivalence. Let's try! Using circular models, generate the following equivalence fractions. Activity time! Activity number 1. Using rectangular models, generate the following equivalent fractions. Here are the answers. Activity number two. Using circular models, generate the following equivalent fractions.
Here are the answers. Always remember, when generating equivalent fractions using models, ensure the shapes are the same size for accurate comparisons and divide them properly based on the denominators, shade the correct portions to represent the numerator, ensuring the shaded areas visually match for equivalent fractions. Even if the division is deeper, always maintain the relationship between the numerator and the denominator by scaling both by the same factor. These steps help clearly illustrate the equivalent fractions represent the same value despite having different numerators and denominators. Thank you so much for watching! Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!